News Channel 13, live at 11, begins right now. The police were teaching dozens of people at Proctor's GE Theater tonight. Emily DeVito has the story live from our newsroom. Emily? Three minutes. That's the national average of how long it takes for authorities to respond to an active shooter situation. And in those three minutes, it's the civilian's responsibility to know what to do. And that's why authorities say it's so important to attend these training sessions. <laughs> A chilling start to a civilian active shooter training session. 911 tapes from the Columbine school shooting 18 years ago. More than 80 people came out to Proctor's Monday night to learn what to do if they were in that situation. It was a good learning experience just in case like anything happens in a situation where you at work or in a mall or anywhere to be honest. This is actually a blessing to see citizens involved, especially this many people in Proctor's. Great team effort. And after 17 people were killed by a gunman at a high school in Parkland, Florida, many people are wanting to educate themselves now more than ever. Well, recent events, and especially over the last you know few months, we've received a lot of requests for it. And the idea behind it is to reach as many people as possible. Schenectady police taught people the phrase ADD. It stands for avoid, deny, and defend. They say to avoid the shooter and run away from the scene if possible. If not, then deny the shooter, hide in a room, turn off all the lights, and lock the door. Finally, defend. If you have to fight the shooter, do it aggressively. And that was something that resonated with some people. I'm not much for hiding in just not doing something. But police say things won't always turn out as planned. So I think, you know, what hit home, might hit home for a lot of people is how your body may potentially react and not allow you to actually do some of these things. And as the number of mass shootings continues to rise, authorities say now people always need to be prepared. Obviously be aware of their surroundings. That situational awareness to even just as simply as looking at different exits in a building that you walk into or a movie theater you walk into, those things can go a long way. And if you missed tonight's session, there is another one this weekend. It's Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. at Proctor's Main Stage. Jim and Karen. All right. Thanks very much, Emily.